So new this morning, Stockton Mayor Kevin Lincoln is running for Congress. To build on our progress, fight for real change that puts our valley first. He is running as a Republican for the 9th Congressional District. It's an area of San Joaquin County currently represented by Democrat Josh Harder. And this morning, we're welcoming none other than Kevin Lincoln to our studio. Thank you so much for your time this morning. Mike, it's good to be here. Thank you. All right, so let's start here. Your term as mayor, not up until next year. So why are you choosing to announce right now? Because now there's no better time than now. Yeah, the, you know, this, this running for Congress for me, it's a call to service. It's no different than any other season in my life, whether it was me joining the United States Marine Corps, serving our country, uh, serving locally uh, in the nonprofit local church, or, or, or stepping up to serve our great city of Stockton as the mayor. Um, I'm committed to this. So you must not like sleep very much. How do you plan on running a successful campaign, but of course, still keeping with your priorities as mayor? Absolutely, absolutely. My number one priority as mayor right now is to pr continue to lead this city over the next 18 months. Uh, my commitment to the city is not going to change, but that means I just have to dig a lot more deeper um, to make sure that not only Stockton, but the Valley knows that they're going to have great representation in Washington, D.C. So what policies do you think that you'll be standing on to convince your constituents that you are right for Congress? When you think about Washington, the first thing that comes to mind is blame, partisanship and dysfunction, right? Division. That my term as mayor, it has been nothing but part, by, uh, bipartisanship, mm -hmm. uh, leadership, and quite frankly, nonpartisanship. You know, when I became mayor, I had a mandate for, the, for this city. That mandate in the height of a global pandemic was to unify, was unify this community um, and build bridges uh, throughout the community. And that's what we need in Washington. We need Washington, we need, bridge, we need leadership that could build bridges uh, in, in our nation's capital and work across party lines. Yeah, let, let's talk about this bipartisanship. On the federal level, the GOP controlled house recently passed a defense bill with amendments that would restrict abortion for military members, ending diversity and inclusion programs, voted along party lines for that one. Would you have voted lockstep with your party on that? Well, listen, listen, I, I haven't seen that, that, um, that just yet, mm -hmm. but the fact of the matter is, is that um, we're gonna we're, we're gonna make sure you know that um, uh, wow. no yeah. no that's yeah. okay yeah, yeah. Uh, it, do you think that when it comes to this particular um, when it comes to bipartisanship or when it comes to voting along party lines who who is Mayor Lincoln going to be in Congress should you be sent to DC? Mayor Lincoln is going to make that decision. That's in the best that's in the best interest of the constituents that he's been elected uh, to serve. That's who Mayor Lincoln has been as the mayor of the city of Stockton and that's who Mayor Lincoln will be in in, in Congress. We've seen you at a lot of events uh, cuz immigration a big part of your community out there. A lot of families are affected by the by immigration alone. Uh, According to a recent Gallup poll, 69% of Republicans want to actually see less immigration. How do you think you might vote on immigration policies uh, when it comes to, to being in D.C.? I'm a grandson of a Mexican immigrant. Uh, I, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't be here uh, if it wasn't for uh, him coming to the United States and pursuing the American dream. And we need to make sure that we do everything we can to create those legal pathways for people to gain citizenship um, in in our, in our nation, uh, Stockton and San Joaquin County, uh, we are a community of, uh, of immigrants. That's, that's the beauty. Uh, Representative Kevin McCarthy, the leader of the, the House Republicans, he's endorsed your campaign. Uh, what are your thoughts on just having his backing? Well, not only having his backing, but the, the backing that I'm proud of is the backing of our local constituents. And that's what it's gonna take for me to win this election. Speaking of endorsements, do you think that you would be endorsing anybody to take over as mayor of, 20, uh, of Stockton in 2024? I'm making no endorsements. <laughs> Not time. just yet. Not just yet. You got a lot on your plate as is, and we appreciate your time being with us today. Anything else that you'd like to leave folks with this morning? Thank you. Yeah. yeah. All right. Mayor Lincoln, thank you so much for your time. Of course, you can read all of our campaign 2024 coverage right now. Just go to the KCRA3 app and on KCRA.com.